Please stand as Mrs. Newkirk's class says the Pledge of Allegiance. Please stay standing for the moment of silence. Please be seated. This is Dylan. I don't know where Quinn is, but I hope you're having a great day. Because it's one of those time. Where were you? Let's not talk about that right now. Okay, anyway? We've been working really hard this week, and I hope you enjoy the Hornet Buzz. Bye. On Friday, January 26th, the first grade celebrated the 100th day of school. In their classrooms, they celebrated by dressing up like they were 100 years old. Good, Good job, job on, on the costumes, costumes, first grade. Great job, first grade. You look great. Now let's see what Levi and Preston have to say about the movie night. Hey, Davenport. January 26th was 100 day. Kindergarten made t-shirts at home and wore them to school, and some people made posters. Kindergarten went to the cafeteria and had 100 day snacks, and you can't forget about Zoo the Heron story time. Hope, Hope you, you had, had fun, kindergarten. Awesome movie night a couple weeks ago, right? Now let's see what Vivian and Abby have to say about the 100th day in kindergarten. January 25th was the movie night. Families came to watch the film. The movie shown was the Mario movie. There was candy, popcorn, drinks, and more. If you were there, you most likely had a blast. Hope, Hope you, you all, all had fun. Guess who? Mrs. Good morning, we are here with Mrs. Same, whose job is a kindergarten teacher at Davenport Elementary. Thank you for joining us, Mrs. Same. Thank you for having me. Tell us about your family. I have been married to my husband, Eric, for 12 years. He works at the high school. We have three girls, Tenley in fourth grade, Madison in third grade, and Emmy is four. Do you have any pets? We have a lot of pets. We have a dog named June a bunch of barn cats that would like to be inside cats and we have a mini horse named Stella and a donkey named Donkey. I don't really have any pets but I would like to have some. You can have my cats. I'll take them. You can have them. <laughs> Where did you go to college? I went to Eastern Illinois University to get my bachelor's degree and then I went to Aurora University for my master's in educational technology. List five adjectives that describe yourself. All right, I would say passionate, encouraging, sensitive, consistent, and happy. Is that a good one? Yeah. Okay, I like to be happy most days. If you were food, what food would you be? Okay, I thought about this one a lot because I want people to, I don't want to pick a food that like nobody likes. So I think I would pick ice cream. What do you think? Do you think that's a good choice? Yeah. All right, sweet. What punctuation mark would you, would, would describe you? I would say definitely the exclamation point. I like to be excited. I don't want anyone to think I'm mad at them, so when I'm in an email or text message, I always do lots of exclamation points. It drives my husband crazy, but I mean, that way you know I'm not mad. You're a new addition to the crayon box. What color would you be and why? Okay, this one's hard because there's tons of colors in the crayon box, so I have to pick one that's not already there. So I'd pick leopard print because I love leopard print. 
but then it would have to have some like sparkles to it. So a sparkly leopard print crayon. Would you use that one? Yeah, I love leopard print. All right, it's my kind of girl. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Mrs. Same's family. Mrs. Same's pets. Davenport teachers' favorite thing to do on Valentine's Day is staying home, going to dinner, giving gifts, making cards, eating chocolate, or making Valentine's cookies. Staying home got 16%. Going to dinner got 33%. Giving gifts got 16%. Making cards got 16%. Eating chocolate got 4%. Making Valentine's cookies got 4%. Going, Going to, to dinner, dinner wins! My favorite snow day activity is... Watching TV... Reading a book or making cookies. Reading a book. Reading a book one. The classroom of the week was... Mrs. Newkirk's class. In math, they are learning about team numbers. In reading, they are learning about living things. And in writing, they are making sentences. Hope you had fun, Mrs. Newkirk's class. Also, her class is excited about Mrs. Mrs. Newkirk's, Newkirk's baby. baby. Coming later this month. Hi, what's your name? Grant. What's your favorite part of the day? Carp time. Why? Because you can read. That's fun. Thank you. You're welcome. What's your name? Emmy. What's your favorite part of kindergarten? Recess. Why? Um, because you like, because I like to slide on the playground. That sounds fun. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey Davenport, welcome to February. Today will be cloudy with a high of 43 and a low of 30. Tomorrow will be sunny with a high of 44 and a low of 31. And Sunday will be partly cloudy with a high of 46, low of 30. So Davenport, what bites but doesn't have teeth? I don't know, what? Frost. <laughs> Davenport, you try to guess where we are. Here, I'll give you three hints. One, water skiing was invented here. Two, the state bird is the common loon. Three, people call it the land of 10,000 lakes. Okay, I'll give you three seconds to guess. Three, two, one. You guessed it, Minnesota. Have a great week in Davenport. Today is Groundhog's Day. February 6th, the 4th Grade Living Museum. February 16th, 11-10 Dismissal. Hi, Davenport. It's Groundhog Day. Don't let it snow. Don't let it snow. I know. I want spring to come soon, too, but I also like the snow. Me, too, but spring better. Today is also National Brown Dog Day. I have a brown dog. His name's Sunny. I do too. I call him Potato. If you have a brown dog, it's your day. This is Cameron and Josie signing, signing out. out.
Yippity, 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 and that's all, folks. <laughs>